From the moment I first met Ling Shen, his passion for music and teaching was evident. His vast uh, knowledge and expertise in conducting and music education were truly inspiring. At first, I was in awe of unwearying commitment to excellence, but yet always so humble. I admire his ability to instill discipline and high standards while maintaining a warm and supportive environment. And as I get to know him better, I discover a mentor who genuinely cares about each musician's development. So Ling Sheng went beyond being a conductor, he became a guide and a source of motivation for all of us. He encouraged us to challenge ourselves, to strive for perfection, and never settle for mediocrity. His words of wisdom and guidance resonate deeply with me, shaping not only my musical abilities, but also my character, especially when he always say, uh, Ben, give me a chance, when we are the one who did not play to his expectation. I guess it's the many hours drilling on harmony, tuning, and balance. He will spend a large portion of the rehearsal playing lots of harmony exercises that he arranged and focus a lot on tuning and sound balance. That had actually taught us persistence, resilience and patience. On the musical side, I learned a lot on how to actually listen to each other and adapt when playing in an ensemble. I believe Mr. Lin was very sensitive to sound and harmony that without knowing through his rehearsals, I sort of develop a keen sense of hearing that I am now very particular about. He has a special way to describe sound as a band. He will always like to say phrases like big ball and bouncy when articulated. Which I came to realize when I was studying in Germany, it was all about beauty in simplicity and elegance. I would say he was the first person to kickstart my passion to actually pursue music as a profession. And in life, through his extensive rehearsals in harmony and balance, it taught me how important it is to live in harmony not only to one and another, but also in harmony to ourselves. With Mr. Lin, some of the fondest memories are really, you know, sometimes sitting in for his rehearsals and just listening to how he, how he rehearses the band. I mean, he's just an incredibly nice person. And although he can sometimes lose his temper a little bit at the at the boys, but with the alumni he's always very nice. He's always this nice fatherly figure with too many of us. And I think we all kind of know that um, sometimes we need to autopilot a little bit and that kind of stuff. But I think we all still gave him the highest of respect, um, despite despite his inadequacies and he, he is he's not shy about it and, and he admits that his sometimes he's inadequate he'll say sorry sorry please give me one more chance you know things like that you know I think I think that's that's something that we always hear. I guess I miss most is his presence, his advice, as he is always approachable and willing to lend a listening ear. Of course his many famous quotes like Ben, give me a chance, uh, rushing to Holland, why are you rushing? Uh, you gundu la you, all these kind of phrases which subconsciously now I used some of them <laughs> during rehearsals now. I remember playing Singapore River when I was still a student and uh, you know, Ling Shen was always a conductor that I respected a lot. Um, and I remember that when he passed in October 2019, I was in the middle of my trip um, to really hear about how he um, in his final moments, it was very heartbreaking uh, and at the same time when everybody was preparing for his final uh, journey, his wake and stuff and all the organizing of the playing and all that, I, I felt kind of sad that I couldn't offer any help and it was just very, very sad that I couldn't even be there for the, the funeral as well. So uh, when it came to this point of uh, arr uh, arranging uh, Singapore River, I kind of jumped on it. Um, of course, a little bit hesitant at first because it was a very busy period for me as a teacher. Um, but I felt that um, this would be my perfect way of, uh, you know, giving tribute, giving honor to Ling Sheng uh, by arranging the work um, to honor him for being a very wonderful journey. Uh, uh, sorry, a very wonderful conductor in my journey as a as a band member. Uh, I also knew that I wanted to make sure his. Uh, Ling Sheng's sound will come through in the arrangement, so I paid attention to how the chords were voiced um, to really bring out that you know warm lushness in the TJ band sound that is very uniquely his. And I 
I just hope that you know this arrangement will do justice to his composition and his uh, musical ideas.